this is going to be a, a special challenge because of the way Kansas moves the ball from side to side. Ready now for the tip of our Sonic blockbuster matchup. On the first possession defensively for Kansas, you saw the Jayhawks switching. And they're going to try to put as much pressure as they can on Duke. Now Wilson has been the top three-point shooter for this Kansas team. He's 6 of 13 going into that shot on the season. It'll go down for Filipowski, one of the very talented freshmen from Westtown, New York. He is big and strong and can really shoot it from the perimeter. Good cut. Harris finds McCuller in the corner, and the Texas Tech transfer knocks down the three. And this, to a certain extent, is kind of a size versus speed matchup in this game, right? In, in a way, but du Duke has tremendous size. Great job getting the ball to an angle. Giving up a lot of size. Yeah, made it tough for him to shoot over and then got to the, the glass and got the rebound. Great pass. Wilson the assist and McCuller another three. Jalen Blakes, who has given the Blue Devils some good minutes off the bench in the early going. Now Grady Dick. And up against oh. his old high school teammate in Mark Mitchell, and he finishes. Just a fantastic pass by Jalen Wilson, but watch how he body seeks. So he's looking right at Mitchell when he draws the contact and then takes his eye. You know, it feels like Uday, and it'll probably nice, nice feed. Beautiful oh. reverse by Brady Dick. Try to turn the corner now. As soon as Jalen Wilson dribbled at Brady Dick in that left corner, Dick just immediately goes baseline and gets past Jacob Grandison. John Shire told us he is very familiar with Ryan Young's game. Of course, he played at Northwestern for Chris Collins, former member of the Duke staff for years, as Adams lays it in. Ball screen action out of the middle of the floor that eliminates help. That's an area where I think the Jayhawks can continue to attack. There's pass. great vision, huh? McCuller, and it'll count. Boy, he lost his footing. McCuller extends the Kansas lead to eight. Terrific shot fake. Uday battling for it, missed it. Roach with a nice look ahead to Blaze. Oh. And two blocks by the Jayhawks. Getting on the floor for a loose ball. Harris the block. Almost another turnover. Filipowski and oh. the follow on the weak side there for Lively. Roach no tip back out by Lively. Again, it feels like more, but all of a sudden it's down to three. Roach with a baseline drive and the foul as well. And this game's getting closer in a hurry. Wilson has, yeah, he shot that in rhythm, didn't, didn't rush it. Blakes with a corner three. Pettiford with a rebound. Filipowski takes it play. away. Blakes with a corner three. Pettiford with a rebound. Filipowski takes it away. What a play by Filipowski. And now he stays with Wilson. Harris up top and the finish for edge of four. Boy, that interesting Mark Mitchell, who had 15 and a half points per game of the first two, did not score in the first half. Picked up a couple of quick fouls, only played 10 minutes. Tough turnaround there for Tyrese Proctor for his first points of the night. Went right through Ryan Young. Would you have him on your, and, and he's a very good player, not like he's coming out of nowhere here, is now a nice look ahead, and Harris will lay it. Lively back into the game, setting the ball screen. Proctor, nice look. Mitchell, extra pass. Roach, weak side follow for Lively, and Duke has the lead. Teared up and crying, so I don't want to cry on TV. What a play by Kyle Filipowski. Uday doing some good things to the defensive end. Wilson doing some good things at the offensive end. Proctor nice yeah, cross court look. Roach in the corner. Mitchell getting some work done on the offensive glass. And as Norm Roberts told us, a healthy Bobby Pettiford, a real spark for this team this year. Mitchell, too easy to get inside. Wow. 
to the rim for the flush. And here comes Kansas in transition. McCullough. And the threes are not falling. The two teams are four for 30. Getting inside. Possession where Jalen Wilson got the offensive rebound, but it's been Duke that's done great work on the offensive glass. Yesifu knocks it away. Pettiford. Yesifu left hand. Tipped up and in by Wilson. Wilson again. Boy, is he getting to the rim every single time he wants. To. And then immediately put the ball on the deck. Look how he just gave a little bit of a shake, and Jeremy Roach was just out of position and gave up that. Well, there was some of that in the first game tonight, too, probably, between Michigan State and Kentucky. Roach rejected by Ejiofor. And for Kansas, waited till Roach went up and then he left the floor and got it with the left hand. Because there have been so many big time plays around the rim to save buckets. But neither team shot the ball well and they've yeah. had some open shots. Mitchell turns it over. Kansas can reclaim the lead. Grady Dick for three. Yes! For Grady Dick, can Duke calm down and get a good shot here? McCullough gamble. Roach open. And wow. Duke back on top. Up top. Oh. And Grady Dick lays it in. The assist to Harris. And Kansas has moved it from side to side. They've had some opportunities. Wow, what a play. Grady Dick with three consecutive buckets for the Jayhawks. Adams and one. Boy, what a beautiful pass. That middle middle ball screen set by KJ Adams and then was able to absorb. 20 seconds to go. Roach looking for the quick bucket and he'll get it. Boy, Boy, what a, what a strong through take. color, huh? Let's see, it's not it's not that much of a concern about the foul. What a great take, but my, my goodness. That's not a it's amazing how physical. Proctor, he'll take a three. Filipowski down with it. He'll take a three. And that will do it. The Kansas Jayhawks, after surrendering the lead in the second half, regain it in the closing minutes and beat Duke 69 to 64, Jay, in a hard fought battle here tonight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.